when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose Imam Ali alayhi salam to lead, was this something that we had a choice in or was this something that Allah imposed? No, we believe that Khilafah is imposed by God. Meaning it was wajib, it was mandatory on all Muslims to accept the Khilafah of Imam Ali. It wasn't by choice. Okay. The Muslims rejected. Most of them they did not stand with Imam Ali alayhi salam. Why didn't Imam Ali, if this is a godly position, why didn't he fight for it? Why did he wait 25 years? After 25 years, when people wanted him, then he agreed to be the Khalifa. Does this mean that, as you mentioned, is this a privilege or no? This is a right. An undeniable right of Imam. When it comes to this issue, we see that the Prophet ﷺ, he gave an instruction to Imam Ali ﷺ. He told him, if you see that you have supporters, even if it's a few supporters, you don't have to have the whole ummah with you. If you have some supporters, then rise and fight for your right, <coughs> fight for the Khilafah to establish the law of God. But if you see that there are no supporters, maybe just two or three or four, you don't really have any supporters who will fight with you, then be patient. So it was actually an instruction from the Prophet to Imam Ali to be patient. And in Nahj al Balagha, in Khutbah al Shaykh Shaqiyah, he refers to that. فَطَفِقْتُ أَرْتَئِي بَيْنَ أَنْ أَصُولَ بِيَدٍ جَذَّاءٍ أَوْ أَصْبِرَ عَلَىٰ طَخْيَةٍ عَمْيَاءٍ the Imam says, I was between two. Either I fight without an arm, with an amputated hand. Can you fight without a hand? You can't. Or be patient. Or be patient. And I saw that patience is better for the Muslim Ummah. So if the Imam had supporters, he would have what? He would have risen to the Khilafah. But he was abandoned by the Ummah. So when he is abandoned, if the Imam wanted to rise to Khilafah, there would have been a bloody war, and many would have been killed, and chances are Islam would have been gone. Because remember, just now the Prophet ﷺ passed away, there's many enemies, you have the Persians on that side, the Persian Empire, you have the Roman Empire, there were some serious threats to the Muslim community. So if in that moment Imam Ali السلام, had risen to power without any supporters, there would have been a great fitna and chaos in Medina. It would have collapsed. The enemies would have ruled. There goes Islam. So there was something ahem, more important to save the religion for us. So Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib realized the only way to save Islam is for me to be patient now. After 25 years, then I will rule. This was the only way. So it's not that it's a privilege, no, it's a right. But it's a right that has conditions. One of the conditions is to have supporters. If there are no supporters, then there's no point in seeking Khilafah. There is no point. And remember, there is another thing which is the imtihan of Allah. Allah also wants to test. When He has His Hujjah, His Khalifa marginalized on the side, here is the real test. Because people, who do they follow usually? The powerful, right? People follow the powerful, people follow their kings. And nas ala dini mulukihim, right? People are on the religion of their kings. If all the hujjahs of God would have been powerful rulers, obviously what would have happened in society? People follow them, right? It's easy because people follow the powerful. Allah wants to test. How does He test? He makes the Imam physically, apparently, worldly, without any power. Then you really test, who's the one who's willing to sacrifice for faith? Because if the Khalifa of God, he's the ultimate king, and he rules, you don't have to sacrifice anything. Who's going to persecute you? It's easy to be a mu'min. It's very easy to be a mu'min. That's why most prophets of God, with some exceptions, they were not rulers and kings. With a few exceptions, Dawood and Sulaiman All the other prophets, they were not kings, rulers. Why? Because Allah wants to test the ummah. 
He wants to test people. People claim to be believers. You don't think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test them? Of course Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test us. So one way to test us is have Amir al-Mu'mineen 25 years in his house. Then you'll see who's a real believer. Because now if you want to believe in Ali ibn Abi Talib and defend him, it requires courage. Because you're going against the wave. You're going against the flow. These are the true mu'min الذي امتحن الله قلبه للإيمان. It's very tough. It's very difficult.